What's up guys, Brian here at CES 2020. We are at the Mandalay Bay and EK Waterblocks has invited us up to their suite to check out all the cool stuff they have going on this year. BPS Customs coverage of CES 2020 in Las Vegas is made possible by Thermaltake, Fractal Design, and Corsair. Thank you to them for making our trip possible. Check out the links below and show them some love because the last thing I need is for them to join forces into some PC hardware Voltron for the sole purpose of defeating me in single combat. Now, one thing that EK is getting into that they weren't necessarily really heavy into before is being their own SI. They started this last year with a partnership with Micro Center with this case right here. This is the Lian Lee PC 011 Dynamic. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with that. It's got a specialized EK distro plate in the front of the case, and now it's going to be available on EK's web shop. It's going to be in several different configurations, and for the first time, it's going to be available with AMD uh, CPUs and Navi graphics cards. So you're going to be able to configure this on the EK site, have it built and shipped from the United States. Right now, it is only going to be available in the US, but it's better that it doesn't only have to come from Micro Center now, uh, whereas it wasn't exclusive for quite a while. By the end of the month, you guys will probably see a new AIO solution hit the market from EK. Now, th this is not the first time that they've kind of made that foray into an all-in-one type solution, but in the past, what they've done is they've tried to utilize their main custom liquid cooling, customizable, detachable, expandable components, whereas this is going to be your much more standard AIO that you're kind of used to seeing. They're going to make it 120 millimeter, 240 millimeter, and 360 millimeter varieties. Pricing is going to be $89, $120, and $154. The pump top is kind of a semi-opaque material. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up, but as I move this around, there's actually a, you can see the bubble in there moving back and forth. Um, they told me no problem with Acetec patents, so they're not worried about that. Um, going to come with the addressable RGB fans and it should be available by the end of the month. One of the cool little things that we almost missed when walking around the EK suite is this right in here. This is called the EK Connect. It's gonna be about $50. It is coming soon. What it is is a fan, RGB, and a pump hub. So it is made to function with EK components. It's gonna have some really interesting functionality to it, including the ability to bleed your system. So a lot of times, if you're a custom liquid cooler, you understand that you have to blast your fans because everything is connected to one PWM header and in order to bleed the system, you have to run the pump at full speed. Well, instead of doing that, now you're gonna have a dedicated header for your pump and the software that comes with this EK Connect is gonna be able to bleed your system for you at a designated time. It's gonna be able to cycle on and off when you're not around your computer and it's only gonna run the pump. So it's gonna speed the pump up to its max and allow all that air to get out of your system. I did think that was really interesting. It's also gonna have a couple of features like uh, fluid level sensors. So it's gonna have a piece that attaches to a reservoir and it's gonna detect when your fluid levels are down and it'll let you know about that. Uh, and they told me that the software that comes with it is gonna be really lightweight as well. So I thought the EK Connect was a really interesting take on an all-in-one like fan RGB hub because obviously those are a dime a dozen, but if EK can make one that really coordinates uh, some additional functions within your water-cooled system, I think that's pretty useful. For a couple of years now, EK has had a partnership with Inwin, and for the last couple of big trade shows like CES and Computex, they've been showing off cases that feature EK distros, and you haven't really been able to get them. Well, now you're gonna be able to. For $340 coming soon, this is the 303 EK, and it has the full distro plate in the front, uh, and as it comes with a pump as well, and it's the standard in-win 303 case otherwise. So if Mike swings around, we could take a look at the interior. You're not gonna get any fittings, any tubing, any blocks or anything like that with this setup. Uh, the majority of the cost com comes from the engineering of the distro plate itself and obviously the inclusion of the pump. So for a fairly significant price premium, $340 is, is not cheap, but if you're getting into custom liquid cooling and you want a very unique look to your case, this might be what you're looking for. If you look at the 303 EK and you figure $340 is really nothing to spend on a case and you're, you're looking to go a little higher, well, EK's got you covered there too. This is the 909 EK and it's gonna be pretty pricey. For $1,400, you could get an Inwin and EK special that includes, again, a distro plate, but they said that the pump might not even be included with this. So a lot of the price is obviously gonna be driven by the enclosure itself. This is a very specialized case that I've actually never built with. There's no tempered glass panel. It's a completely open frame. You can see the IO is down here. Normally you'd expect there to be tempered glass in front of it, but there isn't. This is just an, like an open air bench almost. The radiators are mounted here, and then there's also one on the back side as well. It's a really unique looking in case. Whether it's worth $1,400, you guys are gonna to have to decide. Um, but if you want something that's uh, that nobody else has, this might be it. 
Both the 303 and the 909 versions of these EK cases are going to be available on the EK web shop. The 303 is going to be much more mass produced, but this is going to be an extremely limited run. As you could probably expect from a $1,400 case, the market isn't huge for it, but they have certainly had some conversations with people who are interested. So they're going to make a few of them. And if you want, keep an eye on the EK web shop. That's where they're going to be selling them. EK knows that distro plates are the new hotness. Everybody wants them. Everybody seems to want to build with them. And the problem is that designing them for specific cases takes a long time, a lot of effort. You need a CNC or you need, and you need somebody that can 3D model it. Well, EK is kind of taking the work off of your hands. They are designing new distro plates for different cases. So this is the Corsair Obsidian 1000D. Obviously not a hugely popular case, but I mean, look what they've been able to do with this distro. It is absolutely enormous. There are also distro plates coming for the EK uh, Evolve X and the Fractal R6 series of cases. So if you are in the market for a distro plate and you want to do a water cool build with one, EK is going to have you covered for a couple different cases. Uh, and hopefully we're going to see more of these on the market pretty soon. And as you would expect from EK, a company that's built its business on custom liquid cooling blocks and reservoirs, they are still continuing to iterate on that stuff. So on the table here, there's a whole bunch of new products that are coming out soon. We've got these new reservoirs. Then we've got these new reservoirs over here, the FL120, 240, and 360. Uh, with the two reservoirs, what they're aiming to do is, first of all, they replace their, uh, their pumps with DDCs, and they're trying to make mounting and routing of tubes a little bit easier by no longer having recessed fittings. Uh, the blocks on the table, uh, I mean, you should be seeing them soon, but you're probably pretty used to these by now. Uh, EK's got a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, they're trying to make your custom liquid cooling experience the easiest that it can be, and also uh, the best performing. So thank you very much to EK for having us up at their suite at Mandalay Bay here, CES 2020. Want to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Corsair, Thermaltake, Fractal Design. Check out their links down below in the video description. Get subscribed to the channel if you are not already, and we'll see you next time. All of our CES videos are edited on the Electronics Mag 15. Check out the link below.